Will Mortal Kombat 2 feature a groundbreaking new character? Or are they just going to recycle the same old characters with different colored outfits? Because nothing says innovation like giving Scorpion a neon pink ninja suit, right? So shall we unveil all the answers to the above questions? Let's get into it fast, guys. The highly anticipated sequel. What we know so far about Mortal Kombat 2. Get over here. The iconic catchphrase of the Mortal Kombat character Scorpion heralded the return of the popular fighting game franchise to the big screen in 2021. After years in development hell, Simon McCoy's Mortal Kombat finally translated the video game series' signature graphic violence and elaborate lore to live action. Now, McCoy and his team are gearing up to deliver audiences round two. Mortal Kombat 2 was fast-tracked into production after its predecessor clawed its way to box office success and cult adoration. This time, McCoy and producers Todd Garner and James Wan aim to amp up the action, gore, and fan service even further. But what can viewers expect when Mortal Kombat 2 eventually hits theaters? Let's break down what's known about the sequel so far. When will Mortal Kombat 2 arrive? Mortal Kombat 2 does not yet have a definitive release date. Initially, a 2024 premiere seemed probable, with production commencing in mid-2023. However, the Hollywood strikes of late 2023 put a dent in this estimation, delaying the filming of Mortal Kombat 2 and many other projects. Per statements from Garner, shooting has resumed on Mortal Kombat 2 as of early 2024. Given the quick turnaround between the first and second installments, a late 2024 release still appears plausible. But fans eager for their next dose of guts and glory will need to continue exercising patience for now. Which characters are coming back, and who's new? Mortal Kombat 2 sees the return of most of the 2021 film's central cast. This includes Louis Tan as the protagonist, Cold Young, Jessica McNamee as Special Forces Agent Sonya Blade, Josh Lawson as wisecracking mercenary Kano, Makad Brooks as the bionic arm Jax, Tadanobu Asano as the Thunder God Raiden, Ludi Lin as Liu Kang, Chen Han plays sinister sorcerer Shang Tsung, Hiroyuki Sanada as Ninja Spectre Scorpion, Joe Teslim as Necromancer Sub-Zero. Additionally, several franchise newcomers will make their debuts. Most notably, Carl Urban has been confirmed as Johnny Cage, the arrogant but formidable Hollywood action star. Urban's casting was heavily rumored prior and was recently made official via an on-set photo with Mortal Kombat co-creator Ed Boon. So far, glimpses of the new actors in full costume and makeup remain scarce, but their involvement indicates Mortal Kombat 2 will showcase many more fan-favorite characters. Specific story details for Mortal Kombat 2 are being kept tightly under wraps. However, the first film's cliffhanger offers some clues about where the narrative may head. After beating Shang Tsung's champion, Cold Young took Sonya and Jax to find more fighters for the next Mortal Kombat tournament. Urban's casting strongly implies Cole will cross paths with Johnny Cage early on. Their meeting could even kick off Mortal Kombat 2, given Cage's notoriety among fans. After recruiting Johnny, Cole may also want to attempt to sway other important heroes like Kitana over to Earthrealm's cause. The outworld figures announced for the sequel suggest much higher stakes compared to the intimate scale of the first film. Martin Ford's hulking take on Mortal Kombat's big bad Shao Kahn is especially promising. Could a long-awaited big screen tournament between the realms finally occur in Mortal Kombat 2? Comments from Todd Garner hint as much. The producer shared behind-the-scenes photos of Shao Kahn's Warhammer and Katana's bladed fans, two instruments closely associated with Mortal Kombat's tournament lore. Garner also posted an image potentially teasing another pivotal location, the Hellish Nether Realm. While unconfirmed, glimpses of the Nether Realm could indicate flashes of Scorpion's origins, run-ins with demonic foes like Quan Chi, or even the resurrection of Noob Saibot. Mortal Kombat 2 has plenty of narrative paths to pursue, but the tournament stands out as almost guaranteed, especially with fan favorite fighter Johnny Cage finally joining the live action roster. Is there any preview footage yet? As of early 2024, no official trailer or footage from Mortal Kombat 2 has been released. However, based on producer Todd Garner's comments, a debut trailer should arrive within several months. Until then, last year's bloody red band trailer for Mortal Kombat provides a taste of the hard R action likely in store. Mortal Kombat 2's trailer will assuredly showcase Carl Urban's take on Johnny Cage in action for the first time. We'll also likely get our initial glimpses of other newcomers like Katana, J, 
Jade, Baraka, and the sinister forces of the Outworld. Director Simon McQuoid will surely pull out all the stops to top his first Mortal Kombat stylishly brutal highlights. The trailer should provide a blood-soaked appetizer for the main course of mangled limbs and split skulls McQuoid undoubtedly has cooking. In the months since Mortal Kombat 2 entered production, certain key details have been confirmed through official announcements and interviews, as well as unofficial leaks from the set. Here are some of the need-to-know updates regarding characters, locations, and other buzzworthy secrets. Will Johnny Cage boast his signature moves and attitude? While specific plot points remain hazy, we know Carl Urban's take on Johnny Cage will stay true to the character's cocky, wisecracking persona. Urban himself said he plans to capture Cage's consummate self-belief and swagger from the games. Urban also revealed he's been studying Cage's moveset, including his iconic nut-punch groin strikes, so expect plenty of signature maneuvers when Johnny brawls on the big screen. Urban's commitment to accuracy bodes well for an adaptation fans can cheer for. After being absent from the 2021 film, Mortal Kombat's legendary tournament will commence in this sequel. Producer Todd Garner called it a palpable part of Mortal Kombat 2's storyline. This revelation should thrill fans left disappointed by the tourney's omission last time. The introduction of Outworld ruler Shao Kahn also heavily implies a clash between realms is imminent. Martin Ford described his preparation for Khan's physicality and presence, further indicating the Emperor will loom large. Given the tournament's importance in Mortal Kombat's mythos, its taking center stage should make Part 2 feel definitively more faithful. Photos shared on social media by Todd Garner have led many to suspect two other beloved baddies will join Mortal Kombat 2's roster. Quan Chi and Noob Saibot. One behind-the-scenes snap revealed a pale arm in dark clothing, believed to belong to Quan Chi actor Damon Harriman. Another showed crimson lighting, rumored to be from the Netherrealm, a dimension closely tied to Noob Saibot. While not outright confirmed, these teases align with rumors about Quan Chi and Saibot's inclusion. Their appearances would expand the sequel's gallery of villains and connections to wider Mortal Kombat lore. Gratuitous violence was arguably the main selling point of 2021's Mortal Kombat film. According to Lewis Tan, the team is turning the gore factor up even further for round 2. Tan promised Mortal Kombat 2 goes there in ways part 1 did not. Similarly, Ludi Lin described reading the sequel script and being shocked by its graphic content. If the R-rated carnage of 2021 still left some viewers wanting more, Mortal Kombat 2 looks ready to unleash full-on Viscera. There is no Mortal Kombat vs. DC crossover yet. Sadly, fans hoping the films could merge into a live-action take on Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe may need to curb their enthusiasm. Screenwriter Jeremy Adams recently confirmed he pitched an animated MK slash DC crossover that Warner Brothers rejected. While not completely ruled out down the line, a blended Mortal Kombat slash DC Cinematic Universe seems unlikely for now, but the property's continued success could perhaps change studio executives' minds eventually. Will casual moviegoers and families turn out? Even with buckets of blood and gore, Mortal Kombat has always straddled a line between niche and mainstream appeal, but based strictly on its grimy, graphic nature, attracting more casual movie crowds could be an uphill battle. Families almost surely won't flock to see discernible internal organs fly across the screen. Still, Mortal Kombat is now a beloved brand with multi-generational awareness. Strong word of mouth and marketing could help the sequel draw robust general audiences in addition to loyal fans, but convincing more squeamish or sensitive viewers to sample Mortal Kombat's carnage poses a true challenge. On the financial front, 2021's Mortal Kombat amassed over $83 million worldwide, despite the circumstances of its release. The sequel should be positioned to fare significantly better at the global box office, especially without pandemic hindrances. Mortal Kombat boasts strong brand recognition internationally, which bodes well for maximizing foreign earnings. With theatrical markets in Europe, Asia, and Latin America largely recovered, Mortal Kombat 2 could capitalize and improve substantially upon its forerunner's haul. And there you have it, folks. Another riveting exploration into the world of gaming gossip and Mortal Kombat mayhem. If you enjoyed this video and found it about as informative as a strategy guide written in hieroglyphics, don't forget to show some love by smashing that like button. Seriously, give it the kind of beating that even Scorpion would envy.